Well, it's not often that we start an F1 episode on the main menu, but uh, there's very good reason why. We are jumping straight into the race today because I've decided to take the engine penalty that we needed to do. I'm going to turn the music off um, because we have been uh, pretty unlucky with durability this season. We haven't actually had any mechanical failures yet, which has been amazing. Um, but we, we're we running very, very short on durability. So I'm taking the, the hit here uh, in Italy because I think we can make a lot of overtakes. We're going to make this our 50 percenter for this week as well. So it's it's hopefully going to be a really exciting race. So make sure you li leave a like down below. Get involved down in the comments section. And strap in tight for the Italian Grand Prix. Starting from the back. Here we go. Let's get into it. I can't wait for this. I really can't. It's going to be amazing. Here we go. We're back in Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. And what a great race is in store for us today here at the oldest circuit on the calendar. Monza hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Gasly, Hamilton, Wow. Lando Norris. Gasly up in third. Ricardo, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Perez, and Yuki Tsunoda. Vettel, Stroll, George Russell, and Ocon. Joe, Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, and Nikita Mazepin. Latifi and the captain. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So here we are down on the track then, ready to go. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. And, uh, well, I think it, it's probably wise to start on the, the medium tyres and start the second stint on the softs. I think that, that, that is going to be um, a good strategic move. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Um... It gives us the flexibility to possibly pit early and, and move on to the hards and uh, go for the one stop. But uh, it is going to be a tough old race from the back. But hopefully one that we can we can achieve good things in. So, of course, uh, Max Verstappen on pole position. So we are bookending the grid. And we just got to stay out of right, trouble, you feel. let's get the car up to temperature on this lap. We're learning the gears, so go through them all if you can. But what we have got is plenty of tyres, so we can run through all of the tyres. And hopefully, you know, we won't have a situation like Lewis and Max did last weekend. And get involved in any incidents. But... It is very exciting that Red Bull, as a team, are, you know, in a, in a big purple patch at the moment. Of course, Max Verstappen has, has won uh, two of the last, or three of the last four Grand Prix, actually, I think. And, of course, one in, in Holland. We finished second there. We're on a, a run of three consecutive podiums as well. So it is really, really exciting times. And we're fifth in the championship. We're ready to really fight and, and try and get back into this championship and 
today is going to be a big moment in that. How many points can we salvage from this Grand Prix? It is going to be tough, but I think we, we've got the pace. I mean, I was doing 220 in the speed traps uh, in practice, so we've got a decent amount of straight line speed for once. Obviously, the way we've set up the car, it's, it's worked out very nicely. So... That's what we're looking forward to. We got these tyres absolutely beautifully warmed up and we are ready and raring to go for the action to start. So here we come, lining up as the final car on the grid. Max is stepping at the complete opposite end. But now we don't have to take any more engines this season. I think we should be able to get to the end uh, with our current engine allocation. Now we can go for a full throw down. And here we go. Here's the lights. Lights out. Away we go here in Italy. It's a decent start off the grade, of course. The guys in, in front are on the soft tyres. They will get off to a better start. And now we just got to try and keep ourselves to ourselves here. There's possibly going to be big incidents. And yeah, it's very, very slow the pace into turn one and we're sort of blocked by Nikita Mazepin there which was a shame so we haven't made up any positions at turn one we do have a chance on the two Haas cars and we are through fairly nicely all set up for that there's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris fortunately the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now so not a bad opening lap and we've got Latifi and Fernando Alonso ahead I'm hoping that we can sort of follow Fernando Alonso through the field he's going to have a little look into Ascari on one of the Alfa Romeos makes a little bit of contact with Nicholas Latifi and that gives us a chance on the Canadian now he goes defensive and we just fly straight through that's the sort of straight line speed I'm talking about if we're beating a Williams in a straight line that easily that's going to really help us today so and we move on to lap two we're just about in the clutches of Fernando Alonso Latifi has come into the pit so maybe he did make a little bit of contact with Fernando Alonso but now into this first chicane and it is all about looking after these tyres as well making sure that we've got enough to attack them later on in their stint when their soft tyres are going to in theory rub off a little bit so good start well there goes Alonso again having a look around Parabolica with Guan Yu Zhou that is going to be so close but Alonso is through excellent move from the two time world champion and our former the teammate RS of course you can use it when within one second of the car ahead, Zhou is the having a look at Alonso this is going to be a great little battle uh, their battling does allow us to close up quite a lot there. DRS available now, and, and this is where the DRS train will sort of begin. It's going to be tough to overtake from this point on. Well, luckily, Guan Yu Zhou managed to nice spot move. us and. Good job get out of the way so we're past him now up in the 16th position now Fernando Alonso is the car in front he's closing in on George Russell he's gonna have DRS of course to car in front as is Guan Yu Zhou but there goes Fernando Alonso having a look down the inside of George Russell big manoeuvres and well that's what happens when two drivers leave space into those corners and that's fabulous racing Russell's gonna have another look going up into turn four but I think Alonso will survive trailing our teammate by ten well, here we go Alonso seconds. having a look at Ocon up ahead his former teammate we 
close in on George Russell with the, the DRS. Dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. But uh, not managing to get close enough just yet. Lap 5 of this Grand Prix, by the way. We're not too far behind the points, though. Well, what a chance this is as we close in on George Russell through Parabolica. He's closing in on Ocon now. There goes DRS. We're going to go three wide here down the main straight. I'm going to have a chance around the outside of George Russell. Got to get the car slowed down. And we do exactly that. Fernando Alonso is now the car in front. We're up to 14th place in the Grand Prix. We need to get past these Aston Martins pretty quickly and try and get onto the back of that group that are going for the race win because uh, it looks like Max Verstappen it's sort of a cork in the bottle at the moment. That is a bit of a DRS trade. Well, there you go. That's the slap of the race. That's what we like to see. And three wide now with the two Aston Martins and Fernando Alonso. Is there going to be any contact with Vettel and Fernando? Oh, this is so close. But Vettel stays ahead. Fernando Alonso now will tuck into the slipstream. Stroll is there as well. Alonso... Having a look, possibly, round the outside, was he on the grass there? Not quite. Oof. Well, we just about slowed down in time. Slipping and sliding through that corner. Well, look at this, we're right behind Lance Stroll now. This is a great chance with the DRS. Okay, good work, great pass. And we're through. Nice and easy. And now, hopefully, we can have a similar move that we did on George Russell and Esteban Ocon through this final corner parabolic. Yeah. Couldn't get on the power quick enough, though, and Alonso's going to have Vettel for breakfast here. Gap to teammate ahead is and there goes Fernando Alonso seconds. having a look down the inside now. Is Vettel going to be able to defend? No, and we actually have a look around the outside, and that was so close. That could have quite easily been another Hamilton Verstappen moment. But Vettel slowed down on the outside. Well, last lap we got Stroll here. Can we get Vettel this time? Just about a little bit wide, but no warning. We slowed down sufficiently there. And now Stroll having a look at his teammate. Need to get back into that one second window of Fernando Alonso though. So we're closing in on him. You can see the Ferraris up ahead there having a little battle now. Just in this phase of the Grand Prix where everybody's just having a DRS battle. But we're up to 12th and we are closing in on that little group ahead. Well, there you go, Fernando Alonso into the pits. So now people are starting to come in. And this is where we have to make this tyre work longer. We're going to be coming back at these guys later in the race on fresh soft tyres. But now we need to use these fresher mediums to get past these guys in the first instance. But Fernando... He's now going to be in a fantastic position where he's got clean air. He's able to push hard. And I think he'll get in front of a lot of these guys. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Look who is leading the Grand Prix. I think it is Pierre Gasly. And he has been glued to the back of Verstappen this whole race. So it's not a fluke. He has got the pace, genuinely, to win this Grand Prix. Max Verstappen comes Max into the pit lane. For stop. And now he's in. The gap to the car in front is less than a second. And I Let's think Gasly's in as well, so it's going to be battle of the pit stops. As we're now going to have a little look at Sergio Perez, and we are through. And now we've got Sonoda, Bottas and Leclerc up ahead. But in theory, that is us into the net points now. We've got Bottas and Leclerc side by side. So Norda is going to be keeping an eye on this little battle. 
Well, what an exit we got out of the second Lesmore. We've got DRS, we've got ERS. This could be a chance on Yuki. And we are through. A little bit naughty. Nice work. That brings you up a place. But I'm not too bothered because these guys are just so slow on these soft tyres now. And there we go, that is Leclerc back past Valtteri Bottas. Neither of them are coming into the pits, but there you go, Bottas having another look. And we're going to be into the lead of this Grand Prix before long because these two are battling now for the on track lead. But we've got more pace behind and once we get in front of these you feel we can then unleash the potential of the car well look at this that was a, a great exit and these two are going to come into the pits we nearly went into the back we're approaching the of Charles Leclerc there on the soft. but now we are out in the lead of this Italian Grand Prix we're no longer chasing anybody which means we've now just got to pump in the times Pierre Gasly is the net leader he's 15.6 seconds behind us he's 1.3 ahead of Verstappen this is crazy Pierre Gasly may genuinely win this Grand Prix he's now out of the DRS window it's all gonna be weather we can build enough of a gap so that we come out in front of uh, Antonio Giovinazzi. That's kind of where we're pitching this. If we can get out in front of him, that'll give us sort of four seconds behind Pierre Gasly to come back on the soft tyres. Okay, we're going to be coming into the pits on this lap, and unfortunately, Max Verstappen has overtaken Pierre Gasly, so the dream result is no longer going to happen. But uh, we are into the pits now. Of course, we are going to be putting on the soft tyres. And here we go. go, go now. So from the back of the grid, where are we going to come out? Are we going to even come out in front? of Lewis Hamilton, I don't think so, but we're not going to be too far behind this battle for the lead. That was our last stop. No more scheduled we are away. Stops. Can we get out in front of Valtteri Bottas? I think we can. Well, that is quite unbelievable. From the back of the grid to get up to seventh in that first okay, clear. stint, what has happened behind? Let's see if we can work it out. So... There's us coming onto the track. Is there any contact? Doesn't look like it. I don't know where the the possible contact was. I'm not sure. Oh! There it is. There it is. What has happened here? So it was, I think this is Lance Stroll, just lost it. Absolutely lost it. Oh, well, we got somebody else in the wall. What has happened here? And then Vettel is behind Stroll. And Stroll, yeah, just loses it straight into the barrier. And I wonder whether we are going to get a safety car here, because that, yeah, that was a big okay, incident. slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Some information on Stroll. They're retiring from the race. Well, that was a big, big incident from Lance Stroll, who lost it on the pit straight, and you, you just hope that he's okay. Of course he will be. It's a video game, but that would be a nasty one in real life. It really would. But this is going to close up the field beautifully for us on the soft tyres. We surely couldn't do the unthinkable and go from last to first in this race, could we? 
Well, we are underway once again in this Italian Grand Prix. We've got a wonderful chance to win it. Daniel Ricciardo is going to swing to the inside, surely. But yes, we do manage to go down the inside of him and his teammate Lando Norris. There's yellow flags. There's been an incident on I track don't know what's happened behind. Shall we have a little look? Was it to do with us? Or was it someone behind? Let's see. Oh no, there was the, there was front wings flying behind. What on earth has gone on back here? Yeah, it was uh, Mazepin, I think. Or Latifi, possibly. But uh, I think that will be alright. I don't think that will need a safety car, but yes. On these soft tyres, we have got a great chance There's already up the fifth. Incident on track. Well, look at this. Straight away, we've got an excellent opportunity on Antonio Giovinazzi. We've got ERS raging in the car. Down the inside. Just about make it through. There's some yellow flags. Whoa, what has happened? What has happened to Giovinazzi? Don't think there was any contact. Let's run on board with him. He tried to squeeze us out. We went down the inside. No, no contact. He just binned it. And he's spun off at his home Grand Prix, which is a big shame for okay, him. Clear. But, uh, I mean, we still got the fastest lap of the race from when we set it on our medium tyres a long, long time ago now. But that was when we had a, a big DRS surge but now Hamilton has a chance on Pierre Gasly Max Verstappen managing to get a bit of distance, a distance between and here we and go and we've got Pierre Gasly and Lewis Hamilton going side by side and now we have a decent exit but look at Gasly look at the traction that he got there and now this is going to be intense no, we're going to have to back out of that. That the, the door was very quickly shut and we got Gasly on the outside of Hamilton here. Oh my god, that was very nearly our front wing gone. But we need to make it past Pierre Gasly. Right now, he has lost all his pace. Made the wrong tyre choice, I think, going on to the hard tyres. But Hamilton's not had a good exit. We've got an excellent exit. And here we go now. Hamilton is going to squeeze us onto the grass. Oh, well, we managed to go around the outside. How have we managed that there? That was a crazy manoeuvre. Hamilton sliding all over the place. And now we're 4.4 seconds behind Max Verstappen. We've got seven laps to go after this lap. This is going to be incredibly intense. Well, here we come. On to the pit straight once again. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. Now we've got DRS as a possibility. Oh, we can just break so much later than Pierre Gasly on those hard tyres. We're two steps softer than him. But still a wonderful race from him. A great qualifying and he's well, he led for a little bit. Led going into the pit stops, after the pit stops and... Well, we got DRS on Gasly. This shouldn't be too difficult a manoeuvre. Going to go around the outside. There we go. We showed him who was boss. And now, for the second race in a row, we are chasing down our teammate Max Verstappen for the victory here in Italy. New fastest lap of the race. Look at that. Five tenths quicker in that final sector now that we've got clean air. Going to be another fastest lap coming up. Yes, it is. A 120.3. Lap of the race. Keep this up. And look at this. Within two seconds of max now, we're starting to see the paintwork on that car. And that is exactly why Max bombed it from the safety car. Because he knew that we were in a very good position to catch him, pass him. we got five laps to go. But these tyres will eventually run out. Well, I think this is going to be another fastest lap as we come up to the line. And it is. It's a 120.1. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. And now, look at this. 
Look how much we have closed in on our teammate Max Verstappen. We are within a second. It is only a matter of time before we pass him for the lead. It's only a case of how easy he's going to make it for us. And, well, that's going to be not. Let's be honest. Four laps to go in this Italian Grand Prix. A little bit too much curb there. As we come into the Lesmos, this is where we can really gain the time because we've just got so much more grip in these high-speed corners. And now we've got DRS and that's going to allow us to close in as we head towards Ascari. We're not going to be able to make a move on him here. But we are going to be able to just tuck in behind him and wait for Parabolic. Now we're going to save up our energy boost. This is going to be the moment as long as we, we don't mess up. Of fuel remaining. Parabolic here. And well, we couldn't have took this any better. Look at that. What an exit from the corner. And now here we go. We've got DRS. We've got ERS. And it is a very, very straightforward overtake on our teammate. And we have completed the last to first challenge. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, the safety car definitely helped us out as it closed us in to our opponents but this has been the perfect Grand Prix and a purple first sector to celebrate and now we need to push hard Max Verstappen is staying with us so that's George Russell out of the session but yeah this is where we're really making our time on Max now DRS he is not closing in it's a green middle sector couldn't quite hold it flat through there Max will have a chance on the main straight as we go into the penultimate lap this is surely going to be his last hope of getting us well, he's not going to be able to stay close enough through Parabolica as we come up to the line is it going to be another faster slap not quite 0 0.5, 0.55 seconds off. Caution, caution. And I've got yellow flags up ahead. And that is George Russell. Oh, well, we have s slipped a little bit. Green flag. And Max Verstappen is going to have a great run up into turn four. We just lost it a little bit out of there, but he just didn't have the speed to pass us. And now we can hopefully hold on. Oh, but all of a sudden the tyres are just giving away a little bit. And now we're stopping with DRS. This is going to be a decent opportunity. It's closing in, but he's not going to get close enough. little bit wide again through Ascari and now Verstappen has got a great run up into Parabolica and he's alongside and unfortunately for him I think he's given away the DRS but there we go we give each other room but he is side by side with us and he is going to have DRS on this final lap of the race we're going to tuck him behind him We're going to go around the outside and tuck back in. Oh, that was an awesome defensive manoeuvre. And we manage to stay ahead of Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton is out, by the way. That's going to help us both in the championship. Verstappen again has a good look around the outside. But we have the inside line covered. And we're through once again. He is going to have a chance into the DRS zone. Got to keep it tidy through the Lesmos. Make sure we have an excellent exit from this corner. Lesmo 2. And now, on to the final real opportunity for Max Verstappen. Into Ascari. And we are, well, we were fine. 
Oh no, Max Verstappen's off. He's off. What has happened there? We lost it into Ascari. And I think he's had to take evasive, an evasive manoeuvre. We nearly lost it. And yeah, Max Verstappen just went wide. He just went wide. Let's watch the onboard. He's going through. Yeah, takes evasive action into the gravel. And that is the end of Max Verstappen's challenge. And, well, I think Pierre Gasly may well get past him. And he has done. He has done. Verstappen down to fourth. And we come round the final corner. And we win the Italian Grand Prix from last on the grid. You worked hard for that one. Congratulations. Brilliant stuff from Red Bull today. What a superb victory. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Well, what an awesome victory. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock today. Let's see how the driver standings have changed. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the captain. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Well, absolutely unbelievable. What a Grand Prix and what a final lap. We lost it through a scar. It could have been sent flying. Verstappen tries to go around the outside, goes into the gravel, loses second, loses third. Well, Pierre Gasly, what a result for him. Starting third on the grid, finishes second. Bottas only fifth for Mercedes. Leclerc and Perez, sixth and seventh for Ferrari. Fernando Alonso had a great race, finishing in ninth. But there you go. We are now up to third in the championship, only 41 points behind Lewis Hamilton. I don't know why he retired today, but he did. And, uh, well, we are closing in on them in the Constructors' Championship. I hope those points don't come in uh, crucial. But, uh, yes, Lewis Hamilton, mechanical failure, Russell, mechanical failure, terminal damage for Lance Stroll. Uh, but where... Okay, we get away with it, and uh, well, Lando Norris got a um, a warning for the the manoeuvre that we had um, to get past him. So there you go. But uh, we win the Italian Grand Prix from the back of the grid. Can you believe it? If you have enjoyed it, give it a wonderful thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more F1 content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.